Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do. My name is Sam Hernandez. I'm a mom, I'm a maker, and I am a Glowforge original Kickstarter owner. And I'm here with my brutally honest review, an updated review, uh, as I've had it now for four years, this amount of years because it's been that long and I don't remember. But I wanna share um, 10 reasons, which first of all, before you even keep watching, like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content. I always put stuff up about crafts, we have a good time. Also, um, I have a show where we drink and do crafts and uh, I always use Glowforge materials, it's a good time. And also like this video, it costs you nothing and it helps my small business. Oh my God, I have an eyelash itch. I'm gonna jump into these 10 things that I either love or hate about the Glowforge. Um, but the first thing you should know is never pay full price. I have a referral code you get $500 off up to $500 or 250, depending on what model you get. And I get a referral bonus and I really appreciate all of you that do that. I also have my three-year-old here, almost three. Uh, so you might hear child sounds because we love a mom who makes. First, let's talk about the price. The price is pricey. You know, these these models, depending on if I'm, if I remember correctly, go anywhere from like two to five plus thousand dollars a piece. And while they are more expensive, like you can find other laser cutters, other machines, even like the CNC type things that you could use. I, I feel like I love the price because of the experience and the plug and play experience. I'm what you may call a little bit slow. Um, and I mean that in that I have ADHD, I like have a ton of hobbies already, and I also like, I, I don't wanna spend like hours learning CAD and all these programs. So like, if you're looking for the Glowforge user who is an expert engineer, has a mind, you know, genius mind and knows how to do all this stuff and make their own files and do, the, that's not what this is. I'm a representative of the Glowforge for Dummies community. Thank you very much. And um, I like the price of this because the experience, the fact that I can use design uh, systems, design programs that I'm already used to. Um, so yes, it is pricey. Also, I regret getting the basic. I, it's, you know, it is more, but if I'm gonna spend around that money, I wish I would've just got another one and I don't see myself having space for two. Um, I have a list right here that's what I'm looking at. Uh, second thing I actually hate about this is cleaning it. It actually takes what, um, you know, attention to detail. And I, hate, I hate those types of tasks. I'm actually convincing my husband to help me. And you can see she dirty because I use her all the time. But you have to like use a special tool that I literally don't know if I have anymore. I think you can buy another one on the Glowforge shop. But to like pull out the lens and then you have to vacuum all the bits out. Well, I say vacuum. Some people probably remove the scraps when they're done. I, mine is like filled with junk anyway and then you have to like wipe everything down and be careful and it's just terrifying because you're literally lifting up like what looks like to me like strips of circuits and um it just makes me anxious i wish that it was easier to clean proof grade listen people hate proof grade and people love proof grade i love proof grade but i'm also sometimes hating proof grade this is the thing um it doesn't always work the way that it's supposed to work I have never been able to just put in a piece, maybe a few times, and have the actual, like, they're supposed to have this QR code that's like, we, we sense this material in your machine. And that never happens. I always have to put it in. But honestly, it doesn't bother me because it takes a couple seconds. And even if that setting doesn't work, it's something near what will. And I often find myself using proof grain settings on random materials that I buy elsewhere because I think, okay, this is a hardwood or this is a you know veneer or this is a acrylic. It might operate similar to this. And I feel like it gave me a like intro to laser speed and power that I really needed. So I actually like proof grade. Just know it's not like magic. One of the things I love about the Glowforge is the Glowforge community. The forums, listen to me, don't go to college, just read the Glowforge forums because there's so much information that these geniuses just give us for free. There's files, there's guides, there's, hey, I tested 500 different materials in the Glowforge and here are the perfect settings for each. It's like wild, the types of things that people are giving away from there. For, Oh, you need the gummy bear back? It's wild the types of things that people give away for free there out of the kindness of their heart. It is so much fun. I've shared files there. And honestly, if you ever have a problem with your Glowforge, search it online, of course, but then also just put it in the forums. And usually some amazing kind stranger is willing to help 
I love it. And if you ever have a technical issue, usually you can get a response from a user with like experience faster than you can through the customer service, which leads me to the next thing is the customer service. When I first bought the Glowforge, I hated the customer service situation, but it's because I had the Kickstarter and I was harassing them. Like, when is my Glowforge gonna come in? Mine ended up coming in like a year and a half after I paid for it, which it seemed, you know, torturous at the time but now I've had a lot better experiences with the uh, the customer support team anytime I have to reach out to them and then also I found that the tech and support Glowforge forum in the community tab when you get it you'll sign into community that actually is amazing because you might have a staff from Glowforge or just a person help you troubleshoot any problems you could be having with things not cutting or looking into a certain material first of all one of the main things people always ask is can a, Gl a Glowforge cut or engrave metal? The short answer is no, you can't and you shouldn't, um, but there are some ways around it. There are some people on the forums who have figured out a way. Also, you can engrave powder coated things, like if they have a like film, you can engrave it off, but at the end of the day, when you're dealing with reflective sur surfaces, it is a danger to damage your laser. That is what the gods of the community forum have said. If you know better than me, comment down below. So I don't mess with metal. I don't need to mess with metal. I love working with acrylic. I love working with wood, leather, veneer. And I don't, I don't, I don't bench around. I do glass every once in a while. It can engrave glass. It cannot cut glass that I know of. Someone's probably figured it out. But yes, the materials that you can cut, like I said, leather, acrylic, wood. I, I have not had a good experience with leather. There's people out there who have. I don't get it. I don't know how. I guess it also is a tricky... I've, I've always scorched the leather that I deal with. Maybe it's because I use stone oil leather. I really don't know. But there are so many fun materials. A great website that I like to get stuff off of is Inventables. Um, they have like fun iridescent... Look, I have all these scraps here because I really do love this machine. Let's see if you can see it. Oh my gosh, look at this cool iridescent like pink to green thing. I have like neon colors. I love thick acrylic, especially with the green cast. It looks like actual glass and I'm obsessed. Um, another review item uh, is that engraving takes a long time. That is not really a critique on the Glowforge as much as it is if you've never had a laser engraver or laser 3D printer, cutter, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. It's not a printer to me, but that's what they call it. Um, Engraving in my mind, I thought would go really fast. It'd be like, Zzz. no, it's sometimes something as small as like, I made this moth the other day and I think this took, I think this took like 30 minutes or an hour. Like it took a really long time to engrave. Let's see if it'll focus all these little pieces, but how fun is this? I didn't even design this. I went on creative market and found this like this little pack of illustrations. And I got this, like how fun I'm going to hang it with some crystals, like this is such a fun thing. And I made it, I designed it really fast and I set it to print. Um, also, I'm gonna make another video with my top tips for when you first get your Glowforge, but don't put your workstation too far from the button because you will get lazy, lazy in having to do The final point I wanna say is that it does take some time to get to know this machine. If you've never worked with a design program, I know that the Glowforge that you can do stuff through like Keynote or PowerPoint, you can even use that program to make PNGs. I'm not really sure how to do that. There's some other, you know, program. I stick with like Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Those have worked the best for me. And I find that whatever you use, you might have to learn a new thing. You might have to practice. You might have to take a Skillshare class. This machine, though it is kind of made for dummies, it's gonna take some time. It's a vehicle. It's like a new, you know, you're learning something that maybe you haven't done before. So don't get it and think like, oh my gosh, I have this thing and I'm gonna make it today. Give yourself some time time to print the pro <laughs> my daughter has maracas <laughs> give it give yourself some time to learn and to figure out whatever art or thing that you're trying to make you know give it some time if you need help I do offer consulting for files um, you know setting up files and things like that I offer zoom sessions if you email me at the email address down below I can let you know my pricing to just work with you and kind of show you how I make things work on my file system in Adobe um, but that being said thank you you know we just gotta have a good time that being said you get what you put into it some people are like is this gonna make me this much money I'm like I don't know how 
how much time are you going to spend on it? You know what I mean? Um, I know that they offer financing. I've, I've seen a lot of people buy them on like a credit card with like 0% interest, pay it off in a year as they're making money and learning how to use it. I paid off mine in a year um, once I got it. And that was really exciting for me. And it's a really fun thing to have. I also have a small business um, that requires just random things to be made and to be able to pump out things at home. I really do love this machine. It is not a perfect machine. It is not going to solve all your problems, but it is really, really cool. Again, if you're interested, I have a $500 off discount. I hope this information helped you. My last Glowforge review went viral, but mostly because it was so bad and the camera shook a lot and apparently I acted like I was on drugs and everyone hates me, um, but it did really well. So maybe this one, will be better. Uh, yeah. And let me know if you have any questions below. I'm happy to help people message me on IG all the time, um, asking questions about the Glowforge materials, things like that. Feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching this video. Again, my name's Sam Can Do. Um, and if I can do it, you can do it.